Hi people, part two of Creating Our Storm. I haven't done anything since we left off. We've got this cool little animation where we've got a storm going on. Pretty cool stuff. Um, what we're going to do now is create like a foreground image. What I'm going to do, go up to the top, grab the black. Add a new drawing element. We're going to put this above the sky. In fact, this is going to go right at the front. Like that. Hold down over the brush tool, grab the rectangle tool. And we're going to draw like that. And the idea is that we draw like a we're drawing like a city outline. Does that make sense? Like that. And then we can grab our fill bucket and just fill in all the gaps. So then we've got this city outline as well. Just is looking pretty cool. So we've got a storm going on. So right click on the cell and then extend exposure to frame 100. Okay. We can rename these. Double click. This is the city. Clouds. Clouds to etc. etc. I'm not going to do it all. And BG for background. People are attempting to, to finish entering the text. And now we've got this cool um, city. There's a couple of things you can do. You can add some sound. There's a couple of ways of doing this. You can go File, Import File, navigate to your sound clip. I'm just going to find a random sound clip. Um, there we go, Open. And as you can see, it adds it to here. It adds it to the timeline. Um, you double click, then you can move it along. So you can get a scrubbing sound as well. I don't know what this is. Sound. It's a sound of like an earthquake effect. At least in my short thing. Um, but obviously you'd want to have a thunderstorm. So you have a couple of um, extra. I'm just going to go over to exporting. What you want to do is go export movie. Now there's a couple of different settings you can do. Um, what you want to do, um, I like to launch the player afterwards because that way, because that way you can preview it, see if it looks good. Um, QuickTime Movie works well with pretty much any operating system or anything. Go into options, get a few more choices. There we go. Um, settings. Um, how many seconds? Well, I'll go for 25. This means it's a four second long video. Um, actually, yeah, let's go 15, what it wanted to do. Um, compressor type animation is pretty good. I mean, H.264 was good. Um, I'll just go high for now, but best you want to do. I'm going to do a faster encoding. Um, here's a preview. We see that looks pretty cool, so I'm happy with that. Let's go OK. Sound. Um, I'm not going to do sound, but you want to go into there. Go for the settings. You can choose mono or stereo, 16 bit. Um, and here's some different compressors. Apple Lossless is um, it's really high quality. We've got MPEG type audio. Improve hair. For internet streaming, you've got a couple of options here. I'm not going to prepare it. So, okay. 
um, full movie will do just what I've got but what you want to do is if you've got multiple um, timelines then you want to do timeline current scene this is where I don't want to save it to I'm just going to save it to my desktop um, storm to boom tutorial fantastic I save ok um, shouldn't take too long I'm not sure about H264 um, but generally speaking it doesn't take too long in the meantime um, I just I think I'd tell you guys um, if you've got any requests then let me know if I crash this I don't think I have this is going to recover itself amazingly you just watch um, but this Zoom Boom seems a little bit unstable today. Um, Final Cut Pros I really like now. I'm looking to get buy the new one. I'm going to get it brand new because I don't want to be academic anymore. Um, yeah, I, I use ScreenFlick to capture my tutorials. I had someone saying that he found my the video quality was really good. Well, I use ScreenFlick. Um, won't let me go into it now, but um, screen flick, and once you've recorded the video, I record the full screen, and then you save it as a 1280 by 720 HD, uh, which is really cool, and it does that. Okay, this shouldn't take too long actually, so I will stay recording for this long. If you want to wait, then cool. In fact, I'll see you in part three for the output.